Hello, I'm Marco Farchioni. I am a part of Farchioni family that uh, work in olive oil, wine, beer and in flour. Umbria is a small region in the center of Italy. Uh, people call a uh, green heart of Italy. It's a very quiet region. Everything is quiet and it's simple and it's uh, authentic. It's the way we love work in Umbria because our product, our beer are authentic. What means authentic? Means that I have a feeling of the country, feeling of the nature, feeling of the simple of raw material that we use every day and we grow up in the land that is rich of history and rich of uh, taste. But uh, the people are simple in the food, simple when they drink the beer, but happy, but quiet. This is Umbria. Why I decided to fight with my family after two centuries of wine and produce beer? First of all, because we have a lot of barley. In the past, we used barley for the animal. Since 1980, we decided it's not ethic to kill animal, and we stop. But we have a lot of barley. After long term, after 15 years, I went to Germany to study German. When I tasted the beer in Germany, I felt in love for this product immediately. Like, it's like a, in, immediately you understand that what is your future, no? And I tried this beer, I said, okay, I need to uh, drink good beer. When I come back to Italy, every time I don't find good beer. So, which is the best way to use the barley of your family and your passion of the beer? Made a brewery to do the best beer that you can drink. I'm Gianfranco Renicoli, I am the mold master. I am here in Massibera Umbri since eight years, practically since uh, we started building uh, this malt house. Good malt is the best malt for the brewer. So the good malt is the malt which helps to do good beers. When we think about a good malt, we are every time thinking about what I expect from this malt, like beer, like a customer. So, I think about the people who want to enjoy the beer. We can do this with starting high quality of barley, high quality of equipment, so the plant, and uh, of people. So we have people which take care about the production. We have a special philosophy about barley because we are farmers, first of all. So we trust in uh, do a good job from the field. So when we cultivate our barley, we are thinking about beer. And also when we produce a malt for other companies, for other brewers, we want to help them to do a high quality product. I am very happy of this malting plant because it is reliable, it is also flexible. We can do several types of malt. So we can also play a little bit with recipes, we can play with the product. We produce peels, a pale, a munich, uh, Vienna, caramel light and caramel dark. Uh, we also produce acidic malt and uh, special malts uh, like organic malt and organic uh, wheat. We are very proud of our uh, Pils malt because we have a prize, the special uh, second place for the Craft Malting Cup. When you do something with passion, when you do something for you, and if you sell your friends, the friends become friends, friends, friends in the world, now we are one of the biggest uh, craft brewers in Italy. Because every beer is made for someone. The philosophy around your beer is the philosophy of Umbrian style. Be simple, good flavor, and characteristic taste of the terroir. What completes a product? Color, flavor, taste and aftertaste. So we work in this philosophy. The first of all is not more than five, six raw material. This raw material have to be born in Umbria, except one. That is around the world, because you can put something new, modern, pop in the beer. Now we discover what we can put inside of the beer to be balanced. What is very famous in Umbria? Legumes. So we put sisalic, because for the red beer, because it's red, color and beer. We put spelt, white, blonde and spelt. So we put lentils, dark, lentils and beer. So we match what is around us in the color of the beer and it's work. 
It's very simple, the helmet work. But uh, the secret is balance that. And I can say Michele Sensidori, my brewmaster, so in my opinion, is one of the best brewmaster to have balanced beer with a new raw material. My name is Michele Sensidoni. I am the brewmaster of uh, Master Bira Umbri since the start of this project. We are a craft brewery, so we produce craft beers only, which means all of our beers are not filtered and not pasteurized. We really care about this point because we want to offer to our customers the best beer they can have. It must taste as good as we tried here at the brewery. Over the years, we have made several recipes. Uh, we started with three recipes, and then in the last years, we have explored more and more other beer styles. We have come to the point of brewing around 18 recipes. We have two different lines of beer, two different philosophies. We have the Cotta line, that is very Umbrian style. What means that the raw material, the hops too, now we grow up in Umbria because the land we give taste in the beer. We have the terroir in the beer. Our spelt, our barley, our hops, our sugar, everything born in Umbria. Simple. Like a monk, monk like the simple. We work every day to help the ground around us because the same land, the same water, the same area give balance in the beer, very good high level balance. Then we go out with a new line that is monkey style. What is monkey style? Monkey means uh, uh, that to be curious. The monkey is uh, dynamic. The monk is crazy, make a new experience. Like Italian grape ale, we are in the winery. So why we are here? because we put inside our beer, Umbriaca, made with 25% of a special grapes, a wine from a special grapes that born in this area that is dry for six months. So it's a sweet wine that is very strong in taste, strong in color because it's red and not white. When you drink this kind of beer, you understand it is different at the end because what we want to put in the beer is not only the flavor is not only the taste, but the aftertaste. To be clear, we don't want to produce a wine, but to show that the beer can give you more and more and more like in the wine. The Benedictine method is the ancient technique that the Benedictine monks developed to uh, make a beverage sparkling in the bottle. So, they were running secondary fermentations of uh, wine and beer with yeast inside the bottle. So they would have a sparkling beverage. And uh, today we are doing the same with uh, one of our Italian grape ales. We are running a secondary fermentation with a specific yeast made for this purpose in the bottle, so after the bottling. And we leave the yeast in contact with the beer for a long period. So you have a very natural feeling, a natural carbonation, and you allow the yeast to sediment very, very well. It's very important to have a production plant that allow us to use different raw materials and also to use uh, different brewing techniques. For example, having uh, the optimizer allows us to use spelt or having uh, our shoko system allows us to brew very pale light beers so this is very important for us to have uh, Kaspar Schulz uh, Bavarian traditional brew house because we can think of any recipe and we can uh, have our creativity without worrying about the technology it doesn't put any limit to the creativity of the brewer why we choose Scarpa Schultz not only for the brewery, but for the mortuary too? Why we decide that from the field to the glass in the center is Scarpa Schultz? Because I believe in Scarpa Schultz. In the German technique, in Scarpa Schultz, you have a tradition, but innovation. It's like it's my family. The future is in our roots. 
And Katpa Schulz, I think, is the same philosophy. The future is in our roots. I remember when uh, Johannes asked me how the great, great, great father of Johannes think the more tree that now is in my madhouse. It is funny that you need more than 300 years from the paper to my madhouse. Means that never forget the tradition, but look on the future. And in this philosophy, I'm very comfortable. I think that the people have to come to Umbria and try my beer because the quality of the land, for the quality of the food, for the simple taste of the food, for the flavor of the area. You flavor the land, you flavor the field, you flavor everything. So it's experience. It's a very completely comfortable, relaxing zone when you can be happy for the time that you stay in Umbria.